Yes, welcome to the totally awesome car cleaning show. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to get an immaculate finish on a car. It's a little secret. Not many people know about this. There'll be a few of you older guys go, ah, oh, that's what I do with my car. And that's why I retain a really nice shine. I don't know whether I should tell you because it could be, it could be worth money in the future, couldn't it? Somebody could bottle it. Anyway, let's get out there and I'll show you how I wash. I'm going to start on the wise car. You know what, mine is covered in fish scales and scratches. I'm going to try the wise car first and you'll see the finish that you can get on it. Okay, first things, a couple of buckets. You know, like this. A piece of string. A couple of sponges. Sometimes I use a soft broom to do my car because I can't bother with the sponge. A couple of sponges. Car shampoo. A dried out chamois leather for drying off. Now you want to wet that now with a hose pipe. And the first rinse off I do, because on top of that, that is just traffic dirt on there. You can run your finger lightly over it. Don't do it hard, some people are a bit touchy about the cousin who scratches it. It's just dirt to me, you've got to wash it off. I just use a bit of washing up liquid in a bucket. I'm not some car showroom buff, you know, doing this for a living. This is how I wash my car once a year. Yeah. There's no point it gets covered in fish scales, bits of bait, property, brick dust, splinters from timber carrying around, plasterboard, cement, sand. That's good inside the car, it's lovely. As is dried out squid or dropping the maggot bucket in there, you know, your bait bucket. And you think you've got them all, you haven't. So I'm going to wet the car first. I just like to wet it first. Best not to do it in full sunshine. I'm just about getting away with this now because it won't be very hot. Get rid of all the white fur marks as well. So I like to soak it down first. That just softens it. Okay, turn the water off ground because I am on a meter. So it sleeves up. Start from the top, work down, sides go down with it. And then I've got to rinse that off. All sounds basic, all sounds like everybody else washes their car, but I have the secret ingredient that I do the next wash with, and that's the one that makes the difference. Make sure you get under the wipers and I wipe the blade as well. You'd be surprised the mud that comes off underneath the rubber on the blade. Is there anybody old enough out there to remember the film scene from Cool Hand Luke with Paul Newman? Fantastic film, anybody wants to watch that. Cool Hand Luke. It's about being in prison and they go out on the road gang and there's a girl washing a car and she's stretching and get very wet and who remembers that scene really good film come to think of it it's worth watching anyway just for the just for the car wash bit uh, no guys i won't be doing it now listen i'm going to be washing this off this top part first i'm going to go around to window level first i don't want that drying out there So far so good, I'm going to do the bottom half, which will be a bit easier, it's in the shade. Make sure you start from the top and wash the dirt down as it goes. Don't start from the bottom and work your way up. Anything excess will be going down. at this stage people you, you might actually want to remember if you shut all the windows yes I've got that t-shirt as well wet car inside now for most people they think do you know what that's it car's washed I'm saving this in another bucket to actually do the wheels that washing up the good is exactly what I want for the wheels and then I put the shampoo in and the secret ingredient clean bucket put into that your car shampoo, whatever measurement you want. 
whatever it says, there's a good bit in there. And then I add water, but not just any old water. I use the secret ingredient in our shiny car, special water. I'm going to be using some of my rainwater. Fresh water is the answer. Bait bucket, a piece of string, obviously don't throw the bucket down and knock that string on it. This, folks, is the secret. Now, you obviously don't need your own well. You can just use rainwater from a rain butt. So now I'm going to be shampooing it again using rainwater only way water <clears throat> rain water and the shampoo and I've got a bucket of rain water to rinse off with and that's the most important point I also with a chamois leather soak that in the rain water as well you do not want to just get your chamois which will be hard and put it in with a soapy water or anything like that that's no good to it it's got to be clean water so I'm going even further I'm not just using clean water I'm using Look, I'm calling it rainwater. The rain doesn't fall down the well. Mine's even more purified from that. It's groundwater. It's soaking in through the ground and coming up into the well. So it's filtered through the soil. It should be as pure as it comes. I can afford to put bucket loads over this for quickness. If you don't, and you obviously have like a rainwater butt, just get yourself a watering can and you can wash it down as you would do a hose pipe, save yourself some water. So you know the streaks that you would normally get over there before you chamois off? If you think I'm crazy, check the roof of this out. It's just a straight rinse off with rainwater. Drying out people, but there are no streaks on it. And here comes Colin. Here he comes. Is that not impressive? I normally whistle it up, only know like three words of kite language. One whistle with one squeak, one with two and one with three. I think that's a baby one. Anyway, we've got some chicken for him. Let's crack on here first. See if I get a few more shots of him later on after lunch. <laughs> So, while I'm waiting for this to air dry in the wind, I might as well do the wheels. What I use is just a dustpan brush. That's all I use, and the last of that shampoo. You can do, if you want the washing up liquid, which I've got there, but I figure I'll just whiz it off quick, because that's basic to show you this. Then I'm gonna finish off with the chamois. Now you can sponge off, but sometimes, you know, you just can't get in the little nooks and crannies. And I'm not bothered myself, but if you've got an expensive car with a nice truck or something like that with some very tasty mag wheels on there then you might want to keep them shiny obviously there's loads of propriety brands that uh, you can use for cleaning up wheels well, I guess you could take them to professionals I don't bother because I'm going straight through a mud puddle to the nearest fishing lake but if you do suffer 
and can't get in the nooks and crannies, just give it a brush like this. And that gets in. I want to say, how am I going to put this? It gets in around your nuts <clears throat> and uh, you can clean all the fiddly bits out there. I just let that drain down slowly. And this is a shampoo I'm using there. You can use washing up with it and then follow it with the shampoo. You know, this is just a wise car. We're not driving a Lamborghini, are we? And then rinse off with rainwater. Folks, let's move this here. The light's better around this side. You can see how dirty these are, look. Put my finger through it. We'll see what this comes up like with shampoo and rainwater. I will just actually run this chamois leather over it, finish it off, and then it's job done. Check it out for yourself, people. I'm using this. It's called Glass Guard. It's in a pack of marine stuff I got was uh, for cleaning boats, and it's very good on the glass. You put it on very sparingly, leave it to dry for two minutes, and then you buff it off. The thing is, you just got to hope it doesn't rain and your next trip out is on the motorway following a great big lorry. All the spray coming off. Good stuff, goes a long way. It's like me. A little goes a long way. Many of you didn't know about how to keep your car squeaky clean using, yes, rainwater. There's only one other thing to do and that is watch the film, Cool Hand Luke, Paul Newman. The scene with that is one full on American babe. Whoo, hubba hubba hubba. She can clean my car anytime. We'll see you in the next show. Mm -hmm.